this is an update um, today is September 25th and we have been on this project about three and a half weeks almost a month we started this project exactly in September uh, this is a pavilion uh, 20 20 feet this way and uh, 30 feet this way um, there's a per pergola here that is another 10 feet um, so far we have just finished the brick wrapping around the columns and as you can see the columns are pretty massive um, inside this particular column there's an 8x8 eight eight, uh, pressure treated lumber or post and uh, inside those smaller posts there uh, is a 6x6 um, six six post and uh, they, they're slightly smaller uh, than, than this one here. Um, you're looking at the Chicago brick. We chose the uh, used Chicago brick and there's uh, quite a bit of history on this Chicago brick actually if you want to look it up on the internet. Uh, we like it because it's very rustic but they're actually used brick. These are the original brick from the Chicago fire um, I think about 40 years ago and so they're reclaimed bricks they're used bricks um, it has a special charm and rustic look of it uh, as you can see there there's one green one that is uh, looks like it has been painted with a green paint um, obviously we can just scrape the paint off but it really gives a different rustic charm look of all these different colors um, the um, Chicago brick is a solid brick it has no holes it's not um, manufactured in a factory I think this was manufactured in um, well obviously in a factory but um, it was it was a much more manual process back then to produce these brick they're they're basically solid uh, much heavier brick smaller in size not as big as the king size brick and uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, pretty nice. We like it. Um, as you notice, there's electrical uh, already pulled. And um, we also have electrical that is going to the main circuit breaker to the house. It goes all the way here. It comes inside the pole and comes out there. Um, the one, the cable that goes under here is uh, inside a PVC, uh, electrical PVC, one, and a, one inch PVC, and they're specially, um, uh, I guess special cable, they're, they're feeder cable um, that's supposed to go up here. And we also have network, um, local area network from the house that, that uh, gets pulled up all the way to here so we're gonna put the circuit breaker here and probably like a, a, a panel here for um, electronic devices here we're going to have kitchen it's a kind of like an l-shaped kitchen with uh, a bar on the other side uh, where people can sit around and uh, we're probably gonna put our smoker here um, you may notice there's a gas outlet or hose here that's for our future fireplace somewhere here i'm not sure where we're going to do or what we're going to do there um, like i said electrical has been wired and we have light switches there uh, we have light switches there we have uh, electrical outlet uh, on each one of the posts there we are going to have lantern light there basically on the outside of each post and let me show you what the uh, other side looks like
sorry for the shadowing and the darkness uh, because the sun is actually shining against uh, the opposite way but uh, this is what it looks like on this side so there's a slight curve for the uh, openings and here um, we plan to build a shower an outdoor shower in this area right here so the valve is already there we also have a garden hose bib and the valve and the shower head is gonna be there like I said uh, we have um, lantern lights it's gonna be on both sides on this side here we have a pergola and the the base or uh, the floor for the pergola is not done yet what I plan to do is that uh, I want something um, pervious here meaning the water can go through because I don't want everything just to be concrete so I want something that is more green or water can go through uh, probably have a lot of uh, pavers or uh, maybe large blocks of um, tile with uh, grass all around yeah I'm not sure yet but whatever we decide to do here I'm probably going to continue to the carport so it's gonna continue there and then uh, connects to the carport there and I'm probably gonna have a walkway here too that connects to the basketball court uh, so that's uh, another video um, I'll show everyone how we have uh, done it what material we, we chose and uh, even I'll, I'll usually create another video describing of how much it costs so if you want to uh, um, if you're watching this in a later time again this is September 2020 you may want to go to my channel and search for how much it costs I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a video describing how much all of this project costs and I'm in Katy Texas which is a suburb of Houston um, I'm also gonna have another video describing this particular uh, project here this is a carport um, it's a uh, 12 well actually probably about 14 if you count the uh, the soffit the end to end of the soffit but the post this is the 12 feet apart and from this post to that first post is uh, 24 feet so it's a 12 by 24 carport enough to park uh, two compact cars or one large truck i plan to put my uh, truck here i'm gonna create another video just describing this particular project and how much it costs for this particular project all right well thank you for watching this uh, quick progress uh, I plan to combine the videos together so um, I probably shouldn't say thanks for watching but uh, continue watching because I'm going to have another uh, clip right next to after this one thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel thank you